All right, so welcome back to another episode, and today we are going to be talking about hooks and weights for bass fishing. Right here, I do have an older Plano Terminal Tackle Organization box, and you will notice in the box I do have tungsten worm weights, drop shot weights, rolling swivels, EWG hooks, tube jigs, split shots, lead weights, unopened hooks still in the package, flipping hooks, Ned rig heads, you name it. These are the hooks and the weights that I use for bass fishing. Now, if you go ahead and you open this up, you are gonna notice that I don't have everything that I would need, but I do have most of it. Now, one thing that I can tell you right off the top of my head that I need to have in the box that I don't is half ounce, half ounce weights, especially the tungsten weights, but we'll get to that in a minute. Just to start off the video, I'm gonna show you guys the hooks that I use. When I use, uh, Finesse plastics, I do like, or is it, they're kind of out of order here. I do like a size one or a one-aught hook for like a finesse Texas rig or something like that. But if I'm going to Texas rig a bandito bug, I'm going to go with a three-aught hook, a two-aught or a three-aught. If I'm going to use like a 10-inch worm or a really big, long plastic with a big profile or just a big hunk of plastic, anything like that, you get the drift. I will use a five-aught hook. And then you will notice that there is a pack of lead uh, worm weights in here. We're going to get to that in a minute and I'm going to show you guys something that is pretty cool now Kind of go right here. You're going to take out three drop shot weights and The drop shot weight brand that I use is the strike king tour grade Okay, just like the tungsten for the Texas rig you do have a quarter ounce a three eighths and a half ounce My go-to is a three eighths once in a while I do use a quarter and I have used a half ounce before but a three eighths does cover just about everything that I like to do. And moving on at the top of the box, you will see that I do have the VMC, the sink or stop. And people ask me, what swivel do I use? It is a VMC rolling swivel. One thing you're gonna notice in this video is the majority of the products in this box are striking and VMC. So if you go on and you move on to the tungsten weights, you're gonna see a three quarter ounce right there. I haven't really used anything that big in a long time, but I do need to get some half ounce weights in there. Uh, if I can get my finger to work here, you do have a three eighths tungsten right here. I have one of those. And then going down the box, you do have quarter ounce, three sixteenths and eighth ounce. If you go ahead and you take a look at a quarter ounce, there is a quarter ounce, a brand new quarter ounce tungsten weight. And then you put it next to one that is worn I mean, obviously the one that is worn is going to appear worn, but I did just want to show you that. Now, one cool thing is people ask me all the time, why do I use tungsten instead of lead? Well, that is only that is not only because tungsten is more sensitive, but it is also because it is smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a weight right here, a bullet weight. This is a 3 16 all right? And I'm going to put the 3 16 next to a quarter ounce tungsten weight. Let's get a brand new one. Like I just had, yep. See that? That is a quarter ounce tungsten. That is a three sixteenths lead weight. Just for comparison. You can use whatever you want, but I do prefer tungsten. Actually, I don't even use lead anymore. I, I haven't used lead, oh, I don't know, since probably 2014. Nah, even before then. But anyway, so a three sixteenths worm weight. See right there? I did just want to show you that. Just so you're like, oh, that's not a 3 16 but look, man, this is a 3 quarter ounce tungsten. This is a 3 16 lead, okay? Put it in my hand and look at it. Now, of course, the 3 quarter is going to be bigger, but you would think that it would be way bigger compared to the lead. <laughs> the lead weights are really big, all right? This is actually a 3 16 VMC tungsten, all right? Put a quarter ounce next to it. The quarter ounce is a little bit bigger. Quarter, three sixteenths, three sixteenths. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. Moving on to the split shots. I don't really use these a lot, but I have fished with people who like them. So I do try to carry them once in a while, just in case anybody needs them. I will have them handy. I just actually picked out four of the same size, which was a total fail, but I wanted to get some different ones. There we go. Anyway, I do have those. Now... And that wasn't supposed to go there. Now, moving on into the next slot, you do have a 3-aught VMC, 3-aught VMC flipping hook. 
I haven't really fished a whole lot of heavy cover besides a frog in the past three to four years since I started my YouTube channel back at the end of 2016. But when I do fish heavy cover, I will use a flipping hook. I haven't done it forever though. So if you want to know the Ned Rig heads that I use, because I do get asked about that in a Texas rig all the time, I'm going to cover the EWG hooks next. I do use a 1 10th ounce finesse shrooms jig head by Z-Man. And one that I actually really like to use is a 1 6th ounce. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put them next to each other like we did the last two. 1 10th and a 1 6th ounce. By the way, if you guys are enjoying the video, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. If you want to see fishing videos and fishing playlists, they are down in the description and at the end screen of every video. Now moving on to the EWG hooks that I talk about. Let's kind of jump around here. The 3 out super line, I used to use that more than anything, and then I went to like a regular 2 out and a 3 out. but there's the regular, or there is, excuse me, the 3 out super line. Now, if you go ahead and you take a 3 out next to a 2 out, all right, that's a bad example. There you go. On the left is a 2 out, on the right is a 3 out. You can use whatever you want. It's probably not going to make that much of a difference, but I, like, I do like to change the size, like I said, depending on what I'm using. Now, one cool thing that I have not talked about much on my channel is the Yum Pumpkin Ed Jig Shaky Head. This is a 3 16 ounce, and I do like to use worms with this, and yes, it works, especially in clear water. Up next, more VMC and Strike King. You do have the Swim Bait Head, a quarter ounce Swim Bait Head. Right there. Uh, those with a Kai Tech or like a Saucy Swimmer is really good. And I usually like to use my swim baits in the spring, but I did just want to show you that. We covered the Ned Rig heads, the hooks, the weights. You guys can see the box yourself. If you guys want to leave any comments about what brands you use or what you like, go ahead and let me know. Gamagatsu, Strike King, BMC, that's really what I go with. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about different stuff with the tube jigs, but again, when you get into this right here, this quarter ounce tube jig head, it's a Strike King Tour Grade quarter ounce. You go right here to a 3 8 it's actually a must add, okay? So again, on the left you have a quarter ounce, on the right you have a 3 8 3 8 is bigger than quarter ounce. I use both. Uh, what catches me more fish? Uh, quarter ounce. What catches me bigger? I'd say a 3 8 but I can't say that is the answer for every time I fish. You know what I mean? Sometimes they want a quarter, sometimes they want a 3 8 sometimes they want a half ounce. They want that half ounce to just kaboom, hit and hop hard. It all depends. You kind of got to let the fish tell you what they want. You know what I mean? Yeah, you do. But anyway, and then one thing I also did not cover in this slot in the box is the 4 out and 5 out hooks. Like I did say at the beginning, I do use those for bigger baits and 10 inch worms. And like I always say, do me a favor and leave me a comment in the section below. I know I just said it and I am saying it again. Uh, another thing too, why do I carry like egg sinkers or still the lead weights even if I don't use them? Like I said with the split shots, sometimes people just want them and I'll kind of have them or I'll have them in a box at home. Hey, you want these or whatever. Uh, another thing too, you do have more drop shot weights up here. You do have the ball weight. I have used the ball weight, the cylinder, and the teardrop. I do like the cylinder when it's weedy. The ball, I don't really use the ball. Um, I'll use the ball... If it's sand or crystal clear water and like rocky bottom, but I just kind of dumped all of that and I just went to the quarter ounce and the three eighths teardrop just because of how it goes. Did I accidentally pick up the half ounce? Yeah, I did. But I, I just like how you get the attributes or attributes of both with that, excuse me. But anyway, the terminal tackle box, I can't tell you guys how many times I'm preparing for the next day of fishing or the next fishing trip on the lake, out on the boat, and I come back to this box. Moving baits are amazing. Top water is amazing, but it's it's the bottom contact baits that I'm consistently finding myself catching fish with. Uh, if, if I'm having a tough day on the bank or the boat, I will go to a Ned rig, a drop shot, a Texas rig. Then, like I keep saying, sometimes you got to find what they want. But anyway, people wanted to see a terminal tackle hook and weight video. I hope I covered what you were looking for. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out the channel and I will see you guys next time.